we really wanted to help uh, the military families in the area, so that's why we took on the Army project to look at blast effects on brain tissue. Since many studies have shown that people in the military have a higher susceptibility of Alzheimer's disease, the Army wanted us to take the brain tissue that we keep alive in a dish and they actually set off a military blast, real military explosives, so it exhibits the shock wave right through the tissue and then we look at the small changes that happen in the tissue. We're finding the very earliest signs of changes to the connections in your brain, the same connections you use for memory and behavior, and those start to show the earliest signs of what happens in Alzheimer's disease. So years later, people might start developing dementia. My favorite part about going to school here is the bar lab. Being part of the Alzheimer's research and having part to do with the military. The last research also, that's pretty amazing. What we try to do is understand and, and, and make a way to make people live longer, but also living better. And that is really important for us to understand in any aspect of changes that is related with life, that is related to the environment where they live and how this can affect and change the brain. We have different students with different backgrounds and they can learn not only how to do science but how to apply in science no matter which field they go. And then we have many and many examples of students that came here, be trained and work with us that they always teach us something and we always teach them at least a little bit about science. They have a broad view. Sometimes we are too narrow uh, looking at the data and they, a student just come, oh, what are you doing? Then we say, oh, I'm trying to see how this is possible. And then the student just pointed out something and they say, yeah, that's what makes sense. I'll never forget the first time I, I met Dr. Barr. Uh, and I wish every interaction happened like this. So I, I come in I, I, for an interview and I, I sit down in his desk and then he comes in and he's like, hi, I'm Dr. Barr, nice to meet you. I was like, nice to meet you. He's, Here's a brain tissue. I was like, what? You know, like he had this, this like thing in a glass with it and he's like, this is the CE1 of the hippocampus. And I was just like, yes. You know, instantly, it was like, I was hooked. I was like, this is so cool. And the, the practical applications of it, it's, it's not just like, we're not doing random things. It's like we have this brain tissue that we're turning into this, this protein assay because there's actual, results here that we can find and that sort of made me fall in love more with science in general and so I feel like I wouldn't be the same person if I didn't come to the bar lab. Words can't describe the amount of, of you know, like opportunity I'm given here in terms of procedure and in terms of just full autonomy. I, I talk to it's, you know a lot of different uh, friends I have that go to different universities and this sort of thing they talk about just being glorified pipetters that they're, you know, they're just, there's the samples, put the gel in and you're good, but there's so many times where they'll teach me something, it's like, all right, go do it. I'll be in the office if you have any questions. You know, it's, it's sort of just like full, like, go. And you know, you, you make mistakes, of course you do, but you learn and, and given that opportunity, there's it, no words to describe how great that is.